Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your May 2023 general monthly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my returning viewers. If you are new to me, welcome. I appreciate all of you stopping by. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support to my usual people that are always supporting me. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. You are why this channel is still going. So thank you from the bottom of my heart send you some love and gratitude. This is your general monthly reading for May 2023, beginning, middle, and ending of the month here. And I will also pull uh, Energy Oracle. I just happened to peek and <laughs> um, Pisces, I just did Pisces. They also had the Magician card at the bottom of the deck. Wow. King of Swords wanted to fly out and Queen of Wands. So Cancer, you may be dealing with... Um, uh, Gemini, strong Gemini energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and that King of Swords, uh, Aries, strong Aries energy with that Queen of Wands. They could be, you could have that heavily in your chart. They could be uh, people that you're dealing with, interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis or of significance to you. So you have the World card walking away. One more. And man holding a heart. It's funny because the initial energy I got from this was that there's a relationship or a connection that you've put a lot of work into it. I mean, quick synopsis that you finally realize that um, after every time you try to restart over and over again, at the end of the day, I feel like some of you have done some soul searching. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of you have done some soul searching and have decided to walk away. It, from what feels like a, a connection with a lot of stability, a lot of financial stability, material needs being met. I feel like if you don't have that currently, you are walking away seeking that uh, for yourself. I, I feel like at this point in time, this point in time, you are definitely feeling the energy of um, you're, you're not sticking around for what doesn't serve you, you know, reciprocal energy is very important to you. I do feel like you're standing your ground when it comes to figuring out what the next step is for you. I think that you already know what the next step is for you, what it is that you want in love, in business, in career. However, I feel that it has taken so much trying for you. I feel like if this is in a relationship, you've done, from what I'm hearing, you've done all you can to try to continue to uh, make this work, to try to continue to be on the same page. I do feel like there seems to be a difference of opinion about uh, certain things in a relationship. If you have children, it could be uh, how you're raising your children or what's okay or what isn't okay. Um, it, if you don't have children or whether you do or you don't, could be surrounding money, career, finances, how you spend your money. Somebody, uh, I feel like somebody here really wants to just kind of spend it as they, as they earn it or as they see fit or however they may want to while someone else is kind of like, no, let's, you know, save for something big. The Ten of Pentacles is really here saying uh, that there's a lot of stability, especially when it comes to finances, career, uh, family structure. That's really, really important. I, I'm also hearing some of you, if somebody here is receiving an inheritance or an unexpected inheritance that comes in, um, I feel like you don't really want to tell anyone. You kind of just want to walk away and create a life for yourself uh, without anybody knowing or hoping they don't ever figure out how in the world you were able to do that. That's the main energy I'm seeing here. Uh, you do have the world card here in the energy oracle. So these three cards with the energy oracle could be energies that are surrounding you at this time, this month, as individual energies or throughout or combined. Uh, card number 29 is master number 11. So those type of synchronicities of seeing 11, 11 could be of significance to you. Uh, you know, 
the number 11 itself could be of significance as well. But the world card really is seeing that there is the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, this person is at the end of the pier, at the end of the bridge here. And they know that the next step is going to take a big leap of faith because they know that their next step, they know that that next door, that next chapter that they're stepping into is going to be completely different than what they've been used to because they've seen the struggle, they've experienced a lot. And this is transformative energy for you. So if you've been doing the same thing over and over again in your life, in your relationships, in your business, or you know your own personal growth and in hopes of uh, things changing, but yet not seeing any results, I feel like there is something that clicks here. There's clarity that comes in. And I also, I'm hearing Spirit saying, you've been putting in the work in, you've been putting in a lot of work into the wrong thing, expecting a specific result. You will be seeing the results that you're looking for, but it's actually not coming in the way that you anticipated. It's kind of it's going to come through other avenues. So if there is a specific goal that you are looking for or trying to manifest for yourself, like you want to make X amount of money, you want to have, you know, a happy, loving, stable uh, relationship, marriage, you want to be with like your most perfect person. I feel like some of you are saying, well, I want to make X amount of money at this job, but it actually may come through other means like inheritance, like a gift of money, like uh, winnings, games of chance, lottery, um, gambling. It could be being offered, recruited from another company and being offered a sign-in bonus, sign-on bonus with additional money and more money than you could be working or, or earning right now. You know, when it comes to love, I feel like some of you have this idea of what it is that you want, a really divine connection. And I feel like everything that you've tried to do to try to be communicative, loving, caring, affectionate, and it feels as though you you just can't seem to click correctly with this person. It's like you almost, it, it, I'm getting this feeling like you want the same things, but for whatever reason, it's like, like this. Instead of like this, it's like this. Like you guys are not meshing or clicking well. There is something here about needing to walk away, whether to sort things out and get the clarity that you need, right? Some soul searching, a spiritual ret retreat, or I feel like there is this sense of going on some sort of spiritual hike, okay? Um, and I, I got a, a, a flash of when I went to visit Sedona you know, the energy vortex is there, ha brought me so much clarity. I mean, I literally was like buzzing with energy. It was, it was like the most amazing, astonishing and crazy thing all at the same time, right? Because you hear of these energy vortexes and you don't know what to expect if it's the first time you're going. But when you're there, my goodness, it's, it's, otherworldly for sure. So some of you may be going to places like that where um, I'm also hearing hot springs. So it could be uh, surrounding, you know, nature going places where, oh, okay, I'm seeing a ceremony of some sorts. So some of you may be going through a, you know, spiritual journeys, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing ceremony. I heard ceremonial, but I didn't hear the other part spirit. I, I didn't get it all. So I do feel like there is some sort of uh, ceremony, ceremonial services. I, I can't get that last part that you may be taking, partaking in. Um, at the end of that, though, I do feel that you really do feel like you're in this otherworldly energy where, like I said, it, it just feels like you're on a different level. It's unexplainable. You just can't explain where there's a part of you that almost feels like you're, you're, you're buzzing with energy and almost floating on air. I'm getting that feeling here. Um, so I do feel like some of you are like, you know, I've experienced this type of energy and yet 
you may be going through a cycle with people that hold you back, that hinder you, that don't allow you to see any further progress in your life, growth, emotional, spiritual, financial, um, you know, intellectual, right? Whatever it may be. I do feel like if you are involved with someone where you know there's no more progress here, you love them, you want to see more of them, you want to see the growth between the two of you as individuals and together in love, right? Uh, but I feel like there's a part of you that wants to take a break to continue to soul search and find yourself, your peace, your love, your happiness. Man holding a heart, this could be you, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. But, you know, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, King of Cups uh, energy here with the man holding a heart. So if you are looking for love, I do feel that. Um, when you finally make a decision to walk away from a situation or a relationship that is not for your highest good, that does not serve you, I do feel that this allows uh, someone to definitely come in and express their love, their interest uh, in you. Could start off as friendship and then see where it goes afterwards. Uh, I do feel like you will be, I just heard, swept up swept up by admirers okay so you'll have more than one that will definitely be interested in you i get this feeling that one is like really really young and the other one is, is yeah, maybe a few years younger than you or around the, the same age however they're not necessarily yet king or queen energy they're still in that um iffiness stage where it's like uh i want to see where this goes but i'm not going to show them all my cards just yet right uh, so I do feel like those of you looking for love, there is an opportunity here for love. Uh, there may be some heartbreak in the process in terms of uh, heartbreaking energy of breaking someone's heart, walking away, separating, or just you feeling heartbroken that you had to let go of a connection or a relationship that didn't work out or you knew wasn't going to work out. And so at the beginning of the month, you have the Six of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, and the Death card. Uh, death is a uh, very strong Scorpio energy, especially with the Eight of Cups. So you can have Scorpio in your chart. Um, Scorpio season may be important to you. You may be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, so just keep that in mind here. Death really is the card of death and rebirth, knowing that uh, things have to come to an end. I feel like for some, it has felt like things have just kind of uh, had to come to an end because you had the courage to really finally see things, people, places, situations for who and what they are, right? Excuse me. I don't know what is going on, but the last few readings I've done, in the middle of a sentence, I suddenly have to like yawn. That's never happened to me before until the May readings. I don't know what's going on. But I, trust me, I'm not sleepy. <laughs> so I don't know where that yawn is coming from. So maybe some of you need to be told, hey, take a pause, take a break. Um, yeah. I don't know what it is. Okay, so the death card here is really letting you know um, things are changing for you. Uh, this is the energy of rebirth, of starting over and not being afraid of chasing after your happiness and what comes next. I do feel that if there is a relationship that you have been thinking about, the three of swords just peek through on this deck. If there is a connection or a relationship that you have been thinking about, uh, whether you're in co uh, connection or um, communication with at this time, I do feel like some of you are, are looking back thinking, I've like, you've wasted too much time. You should have let them know uh, at, when you had the chance that you really were interested in them or that you really wanted to see where this was going. I feel like some of you have like a really divinely guided connection here. You may know each other from a very long time. Um, I also feel that for some of you, if you are in a marriage or relationship with children, I feel like you're reflecting on your current situation and you're saying, okay, 
enough is enough. I've done enough. I just don't know if I can continue putting forth any more time, energy, effort if they're not going to meet me halfway. Again, strong Aries. So this could be with an Aries, uh, someone who is, I'm hearing, is very demanding. Uh, someone who wants to be in, in the driver's seat at all times, right? So whether that's figuratively or literally, right? Where they they make the rules, they say what's going on, who's in charge and whatnot. Uh, this could be somebody that you're involved with who uh, has a tendency to want to be in control of everything, wanting to make rules, suggestions, and isn't very open to other people's suggestions, okay? So if you are dealing with someone like that if you are in a relationship with someone like that the seven of pentacles is really you know saying i just don't know how much more of this i can take right it's like i've done everything i possibly can to try to soften this person to try to get this person to feel more at ease with me that they can trust me that they don't always have to feel like you know like like they have to be in control at any given moment uh that things are okay with the way that things are okay at the time and with the way things will be moving or changing right uh, I do feel like there is this energy if you do have children where you're contemplating, you're thinking, okay, what do I do? What's going to happen from here on out? We have children together. I'm just not sure where to go from here. Uh, I, I get, I also get this feeling that some of you have had quite a few, um, I, and, and I saw it as a reboot, right? Trying to um, start over, trying to clean the slate. You may have had episodes or times where you have separated uh, sometimes for a, a day or two, sometimes for a few weeks, and some of you even for months. Uh, so at any given moment. So I do feel like there is this feeling of I, I've done so much to try to be a better person. I've done so much to try to prove to this person that I'm trustworthy or, you know, that they can count on me or depend on me and yet they still don't trust me. So I'm hearing some of that as well. OK, so just be mindful of that cancer if that is your situation. Remember that if this doesn't resonate, I do read intuitively. So oops. Not all the messages come through at once. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and a bunch of cards over here. Uh, make sure you check out your Moon Rising and Venus signs as well. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I do feel like some of you have an opportunity for a new job, a new business opportunity. You may get offered something that requires you to travel. Remember what I said earlier? It may be like a little, did I say it with you guys or with somebody? Yeah, I think it was with you guys. Like maybe like a signing bonus uh, that you may be receiving. And this is either in regards to traveling or this is you trying to, um, you know, seek out other options for you. This is about um, financial growth and stability, being able to be like a breadwinner, not, not having to uh, fully or constantly depend on someone else if you are, um, if you are experiencing a, a little bit of a emotion, emotional or financial, I meant to say financial, but emotional came out. So some of you may be emotionally set back because of finances, right? The world card flew out as I was saying that um, because it does mean like you're elevating your your lifestyle, your finances, generational wealth, building that bank account, you know, moving on out to go for that bag and make sure that you do make the type of money that you want for yourself. The page of wands can be a younger fire sign. This could be childlike energy, but this is also good news, a new start, new opportunity, something that you feel really excited about. You may be walking away from a stagnant, I just heard, you may be walking away from a stagnant chapter in your life where you feel like everything seems ho-hum routine nothing exciting and there is that energy of wanting to chase excitement wanting to chase something new and see what's out there for you and you know bonus it comes with a lot of money or a sense of stability I, i'm also hearing okay so if you guys are being offered this type of job like you're gonna be you're gonna be set up in like the nicest hotels the nicest places you're gonna be i'm hearing working on location whatever that may mean for you so just keep that in mind if that is something if that is an opportunity that you are interested in tell me more about this page of wands this opportunity that comes in for cancer 
Okay, so too many, but the Magician card, Ace of Cups and Eight of Cups. Wow. So you have the Magician over here. So clearly you are, this could be a promotion. Remember what I said? You could finally find uh, a job that you love, a career that you love, or you decide you're going to go after the love that you have been wanting. If this is someone from your past or somebody that, um, I feel like if you have an idea of the type of love or relationship that you want for yourself, you're no longer entertaining um, people, places, things that are not for your highest good. So you're just like, boom, peace, I'm out. I'm going to go after what I want. And if it's love, it's love. If it's money, it's money. If it's, you know, the whole package, then well, go more power to you, Cancer, right? For some of you, it's definitely money. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. It really is, you know, signing on the dotted line, reading that fine print, making sure that this deal, this offer is as good as it gets, as good as it sounds, right? Now, I know with Mercury retrograde right now, people can be a bit weary about signing contracts or starting something new. Um, but at this time, I would absolutely make sure that you have a clear understanding of what you're getting involved with or into and you read, read, read the fine print, you know, before you sign anything. Uh, don't just go for a person's cliff's notes of the events of what's going to happen or what's being promised, but rather make sure you know every step of the way. Towards the end of the month, you have the seven of wands, the three of swords and the page of swords. So, you know, I get a little bit of this um, stalkery energy here. Uh, if this is someone whose heart you broke or vice versa, I feel like they're keeping tabs on you. I feel like they, they want to know what's going on with you. But there is a little bit of this resentment energy and a little bit of anger here. Like, why isn't this person reaching out to me? Why isn't this person messaging me back? Why isn't this person interested in reconnecting or vice versa, right? Why hasn't this person reached out and, and asked me to get back together or whatever, right? Depending on your situation, I do feel that there's a lot of unhealed wounds here on an emotional level, and there could still be a tinge of uh, anger, a little bit of a harsh tone. Uh, I'm hearing the words condescending tone, okay? So uh, be careful of that. If this is someone that you haven't been in communication with, that you've been in a, like a long break or even a short break, whatever, just some sort of separation, no communication, and, you know, you or them try to reach out to each other and to no avail or no success. I get this feeling of somebody being really cocky, really arrogant and um, kind of stuck up like, like, oh, now you think you're too good for me? Well, guess what? I'm too good for you. Like that, right? Um, it's very immature and like kind of tit for tat energy. I, I don't know. I, I'm not really all for that so just be careful if that's the type of energy that ends up popping up for you towards the end of the month but tell me about this three of swords what is the clarifying energy uh for cancer because i do feel with the page of swords and the three of swords th this is someone who's kind of like harboring resentment and anger and there could be unfinished business here they've got love for you they they feel like there's something there but it's like damn it why aren't they reaching out to me why do i have to stalk their social media why do i have to ask around i wish they just you know and it's kind of like that frustration basically three of swords Ace of Wands. So uh, probably no hanky-pinky at this time with them, right? Someone holding back, someone not wanting, um, you know, I feel like if this is just a little, like a straight up, just only uh, a sexual relationship, physical relationship, if this is a situationship, uh, one person seems like they were more invested in the other. I also feel that um, there is this energy of wanting to rekindle that type of connection with someone in particular but I feel like they're not interested so the three of swords feels like okay uh maybe at one point or another this person was someone who you were uh easily able to reconnect with uh, but now that's not happening anymore. I feel like you are or some it's either you to someone or someone else to you trying to get to 
you and find out what is going on, what's new. Uh, are they with someone else? Are they? Why are they not talking to me? I feel like there's a little bit of that spying energy by the end of the month. Uh, tell me why. Ugh. Another ace, ace of pentacles. So if this didn't turn into a serious relationship, like commitment and all, because someone didn't feel uh, like they were in a financially stable place and now they are. <laughs> I, I get this feeling that like somebody here is like, I'm finally in a good place with my finances. I've making, I'm making really good money. I'm starting my own business. I'm seeing a lot of profit, net sales, whatever, right? This is someone who's got the money, the finances, like they are ready to create the life that they've always wanted for themselves. And I, I get this feeling like whoever this is, you or them, is feeling like now that I can give them what I always wanted to give them, now that I can give them the life I always wanted for myself and them, they're not available to me anymore. And it's like too bad, so sad, because it feels as though you're not accepting that as an answer. <laughs> King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Again, it's like you really want this to work, but you're a little bit guarded and th this is someone pushing you away, like no longer interested. It's too late. You, you know, how dare you think that I would always be here waiting for you to eventually come back is how I'm hearing it. Okay. Why is this person so defensive, standing their ground? Uh, what is the point here? Seven of Wands, the star card. Uh, this could be strong Aquarius energy, but it also has to do with healing. So whether you had a lot of healing that needed to take place and you feel like you already did and you're ready to pursue something more serious or they had some healing to do. They had to be in a better place in order for um, in order for them to be ready and willing to be with with you. Vice versa. This is a general reading, right? So what is the advice here? What can Cancer expect moving forward? Uh, justice. Three of Wands, Knight of Swords. So I feel like there there is opportunity for you to move forward, but it feels like it's very rushed energy, like not wanting to deal with the niceties, not wanting to deal with... Uh, allowing the karmic justice to to take place on its own you're like peace out i'm out i don't i don't care anymore it, it's like it's like this really hasty energy about like i'm seeing almost like a little kid throwing a tantrum like you're not you're you always thought you would end up being able to make this work in the long run and now it's like throwing a fit wanting to walk away and as i say that the 10 of pentacles and the four of pentacles you're like you're losing out i've got all this money now i can provide for you now i could create a life that i want with you and now you're not texting me back now you don't want anything to do with me well sucks to be you you're missing out and five of swords energy it feels like again it is that energy of um what's the word my vocabulary seems to shrink during Mercury retrograde. You guys bear with me. I swear. Sometimes I feel like the words are right on the tip of my tongue and it's like it disappears. <laughs> but there is this sense of entitlement of thinking they can always walk back into your life at any given moment. And I feel like they always thought that you'd be waiting around for them or vice versa. You could be the one feeling this way. And um, now you're just like, you snooze, you lose, you're lost. Uh, so, you know, obviously bitter and hurt about it, but it feels like they're not going to walk away very easily. Like they're going to, it feels like there's a little bit of that instigator type energy where they want to make sure that you know, there's a tinge of revenge here. <laughs> they want to make sure that you know that it is your loss. They want to know, it's not enough that you know, they want to know that you feel it as well. So guardian angel tarot, messenger of thought, which I believe that is the page of swords. Am I right? Let me double check. Yeah. Page of swords. Five of abundance is the five of pentacles. Healer of emotions. That is the queen of cups. So that could be you or another water sign. 
me one sec. I dropped something. It could be you or, you know, a water sign, another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the messenger of thought. A new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. Remember what I said. <laughs> you know, will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. Careful with your words. They can sting. Um, Pisces also had that one. Five of Abundance. This is the Five of Pentacles. There are times when everyone needs a hand. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone. Accept the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is temporary. This may be, this may not be the right time to become self-employed. Be patient. Healer of emotion. This is Queen of Cups energy. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. Flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insights. You or another person is a kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trustworthy friend. That is your message for the month, my cancer friends. Remember the weeklies are back, so make sure you give this a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings. Your playlist is here somewhere. <laughs> what other, other, whatever other readings are going to be up here. Uh, to book a personal reading, there is going to be just a handful of dates in the month of May. My prices are going up afterwards. So if you want to book at the current price, click the link in the description box down below. And so if you don't see any current um, availability at this time, I will be updating it probably on a weekly basis. So you maybe want to check it out like every Sunday, Monday uh, to see if I open up for the following week or so. Okay. So I'm sending you guys so much love and support, and I cannot wait to see what's in store for your weekly readings. Take care. Bye.